and you can hear that it's wild outside i've had a van night last night didn't do any filming i just wanted a uh, relaxing night and i was knackered in an early early to bed because i'm old old uh and i was gonna have a tent night the night it is absolutely wild i don't know i'll show you out the door so that's out the door where white stuff on floor is snow That wind doesn't look much from here, but it's knocking us off my feet and I'm a big lass. Uh, so there's a little bit more damage, more damage off the storm. And I might be till between my legs and heading home, unless I have another van night. It's Thursday, back at work on Saturday, so this is my last chance for to have a, a night out, really. Mm, I'll head a bit further south, see what I think, we'll, we'll take it from there. Uh, right, I'll have a big crack on in a little bit. Christmas period, a good new year, uh, and uh, yeah, rocked right into 2022. All the twos, what can possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh, so here I am. Uh, I wasn't expecting to be here tonight. You watch me videos, you'll have seen us here before. If you know me Instagram page, uh, you'll have seen pictures from us come here many times. Uh, this is my little go to spot when the going gets tough. <laughs> And dear me, the going was tough tonight. I was going to be putting some socks on and stuff. I've got bare feet at the minute. Uh, oh look, I'll tell you what I, I'll tell you what I got. It's going to be a chatty video this, so if you're, if you're bored and you want a little bit of chat on, uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm in the tent by myself and I, I just want someone to talk to. I'm just going to sit and maybe hang out with us for a bit. Okay. So I got some of these. Oh, Merino, two pairs of them. Fourteen pound for a pack of two, so seven pound for a pair of Salomon Merinos. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be walking around, so I will accessorise with a pair of Aldi's on top of them. <laughs> oh, so yeah, the, I, I work through Christmas. You know me, I work at a hospice. I'm on a catering team 
food stops for no one. Yeah, everyone needs food. Uh, wrong foot. Oh. <laughs> that's great. This one done, isn't it? Putting your shoes on. There you go. Slippers on. Oh, that's better. So yeah, for, for me, Christmas, it's, it's apart from having my lovely son home for nearly three weeks, which was, uh, man, that was great. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, that for me is Christmas, is my junior coming home. Uh, but I, apart from that, really, it's not that festive for me. I didn't have a nice Christmas day at work, getting to do, like, you know, nice stuff for nice people, yeah? But leave it at that. Uh, and I'm not going to talk about anything like that anymore. So, yeah, there, where am I? I've dropped my junior off tonight. This will make sense. I've dropped my junior off last night, sorry. Uh, dropped him off. I finished work three o'clock, but I bombed home. Picked Junior up, uh, drove him back up to uh, Harrington where he lives, uh, and then I went out a van night. No footage taken, I was blinking like that because I've been up since like half past six. Uh, so I had a van night, woke up this morning, it was grim, it was just rotten outside. Looked like I maybe just missed the tail end of a nice sunrise. Uh, and I was like, oh god, blinking freezing, there's snow on the hills. And I sort of had an idea in my head of where I was wanting to, to, to camp tonight. Uh, so, I was wanting to come sort of St. Abbs way, or maybe, you know, up, up near Cove or somewhere. So I took a drive back down that way, around the, you know, Coldingham Gym and that. Yum, 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 Coldingham and that way, there, St. Abbs Cove. And it was, it was the wind. <laughs> wild. Absolutely <laughs> wild. Uh, and it was snow on the ground. That white stuff, yeah? I see snow on the ground. Nah, wasn't pushing me buttons, I'll be honest. Uh, and now I knew a little bit further south, because I'm down south, you know. I knew a bit further down south that it's going to be a little bit warmer, obviously, because we're near the equator in Newcastle. <laughs> oh. And even when I pulled up here, uh, which isn't for... It, it, uh, I'm still in Northumberland, but put it that way, I'm not telling you where I am. Uh, and it, 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 it's... Uh, I nearly didn't get out the, out the car. <laughs> And I just thought, hi man, then I actually turned the car around and drove off, I was going to go home. That was like, stop being a wuss. You'll be happy once your tent's up. How are you? Well, a little spot sheltered. Wind's coming in southwesterly, uh, and I'm happy. I've got my tent up, uh, I'm chatting on to me pals. Hi, are my pals. Uh, I'm in the Kuyu, I've never had the Kuyu here, so it is a bit like a new camp. And I'm just going to sort my gear out. Uh, everything, it's little stuffy pockets. Need my pillow blown up. I need me pill. Stop it. Now tripod, come on. So I just need to do me little stuff. I've got me mat up. I've got me seat to summit up. Uh, got me REI here. Uh, there we go. Can I gonna move me cell in and I've got a few uh, Christmas ciders before we'll have a little a little try. Uh, I'll stop waffling. And I'll see you in a little bit. Uh, Love stuff in rules, uh, but like myself. Beat, toodles. That's the Tyvek uh, Flames Creed. Bag cover, Livy cover, whatever you want to call it. Just a little bit of insurance. Like a new hat? You make it look a bit Welsh, does it? Eh? Or does it make us look like I should be selling stuff on street corners? I quite like it. <laughs> eh? Del boy, Del Donna. I was supposed to get down to one, but feel like minus four tonight. Now I'm out of the wind, so it shouldn't feel like minus four for me. But it's winter anyway, so I've got the cold weather gear. Got my 
one of them. That's the Seat of Summit Reactor. Extreme. Not just any old reactor, it's an extreme one for extreme times, such as camping at the beach on Northumberland in January. Get that, eh? You could pick that up and just cut. That's it, you're sorted, aren't you? You found like an injured animal, you could pick your animal up, yeah? Pop him in there. Tighten that up round its little neck, yeah, and then carry it off to the vets. Like that, yeah. Ideal. <laughs> oh. This I'll just I use now. I kind of got me blankie on. I bought two blankies. Uh, I've had this for quite a while. You can tell because it's it's chewing off there. This is a Zephyrback. Yep, it's a 300. It's just a, a sort of cheapish down blanket. Uh, again, I've added a couple of years. Just when the going gets tough, I'm not that tough really. Plus, I'm not that far from the car either. It's not, it's, you know, it's, a, it's an acceptable walk in. So just hide the stuff in the bag, don't you? I'll take that just in case. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's better. Oh. A lady food war. Got a little speaker for later if I want to listen to some stuff. Yeah, that there is my famous orange selfie stick. This is where the magic happens. And it's got a ball joint at the end. Scotty, don't dare. Don't you dare, Scotty. Uh, enough of your smut. Now oh, come on. Uh, so, yes, that is where the magic happens. Uh, this has to be Harry Potter one like selfie and I've had that some years I've had that since I started doing videos what is that about seven years uh -huh. wait I've got to stop going uh -huh. uh, I've got my new hat I've got some my down jacket as well probably enough like a down in the yard for a flock of seagulls it's all right though grows back Right, so that's about it. I think I'm unpacked. I'm going to, I'm going to get myself a, a, a beer on. I've had Sharon Dyson. Sharon. Uh, Lush, a, a total random Christmas present. Not going to be to give it to, give it to my junior because I, I, I worked. Uh, and then it was like some lovely ciders. To put that in bottles. So I've just brought the one checking that box so that is pulp it's craft cider it's none of your uh, shite cider that there is craft cider let's see if i can work out who open this i don't usually bring a, a bottle opener uh, i don't do it let's see if i can do this old school might be nice knife Yes! Haha! <laughs> I would open a bottle yeah, without the bottle opener. Oh, the sommelier straight into action here, yeah, eh? You know, holding her back the night. Oh, well, then we'll do a cheeky one. Uh, that there is a massively beautiful. What's how much is in there? I would guess nearly a pint. It's a 4%, uh, it's pulp. And it's a raspberry. Now, who doesn't like raspberries? One of my favourite berries, a raspberry and a gooseberry, uh, and a rhubarb berry. So let's have a try of this one. Cheers, peeps. Happy New Year. Oh, oh. Oh, Sharon, I'm unsure. Well, I could drink some of them. Yeah, very raspberry, but not over raspberry. And then you're not getting the sourness of a raspberry pick too early. So this is a beautifully harvested, just at the right time, raspberry craft cider, and only 4%, so I could probably drink hots of these. It's very good, I recommend that one. I got a little, a little box, and there was like a rhubarb one, an apple one, and a raspberry one. 
uh, lavoro. I'll keep the rhubarb one for later, but the raspberry one I brought out, as you can see, or stop seeing as you can see as well, haven't I? <laughs> stop it, Donna. Oh, look at the little smile on my face there, uh, tend upside the root. Hey! Mm. It's not overly fizzy, it's just lush. Uh, right now, we're off to quaff my cider. Uh, it's probably going to be like a trampy drunk cider video, this one. What the heck? So it's quite warm, it's just on five degrees. <laughs> Counting the outside. Uh, we'll have cider, cider number two this evening. Another one from the Christmas present list. And we've got a... Hawkeye Nectarine Cider. Now the only problem here is I can't remember what nectarines tasted like. Aren't they like the cross between an apple and a, and a peach or a pear or something? Not a pear, an apple and a peach. I'm unsure. I'm sure I like, got like fuzzy on the outside and a big stone inside. And we've got a 5.5% a cheeky little alcohol by volume. Nothing there, nothing. That's sommelier. Weak. Nothing. Ah. Ah, it's rank. Oh, 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 oh. oh, hold on. I don't want to go back in. Yeah. What the hell is that? Oh. Nah. Oh. It tastes like the rotten stone of a fermented fruit. Oh, nah, nah, nah. Remember when I used to get, and I know it's not cheap cider. I know this has been expensive cider. Uh, nah, you know, I'm getting a little touch of fruit there, but as I say, it just tastes uh, a little bit rotten and fermented. Like you would sort of pick it up, your fingers would go through, through the skin, you would be like, eh, I'm not eating that. And then you would chuck it in the bin and then you would, do that on your face just because COVID's going round. I don't know. Then you would like get this smell on your hands of like rotten fruit. Uh, there would probably be like a lot of fruit flies like whizzing round it. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I have to glitch in the meat mix. <laughs> I'll finish it because I'm a trooper. But that's that Hawkeye, eh? Gonna have a Hawkeye, you keep a Hawkeye out for it and then just walk straight past it. Do not be purchasing that one. It uh, tastes like... I don't know, you, you remember when you used to drink cider when you were younger? When you would just drink cider just for to get drunk? Is there another, re is there another reason to drink cider, you see? Yes, yes there is. It's, it's for the whole whole parcel of the the, mm, the, the the fruits and the fizz and the just a cheeky little warmth inside that that's fermented fingers through skin rotten you have all them little bits of fleshy bits like hanging onto the the rotten big pippy stone thing in the middle oh hold on I've just got a taste of fruit there <laughs> This has took a half a can to kick in. Oh, man. All of these is better than that. But I'll tell you what, that's 5.5%. Five, if I have anything more of that, then I'll be drunk tonight. Uh, DBS, Cider Sommelier, extraordinaire, reporting from the old folks home. With a hawk eye.
I haven't worn hats for ages, but all of a sudden I just seem to have got lots of hats that fit us and that I love. So we're going to do this evening's last beer tasting. Notice I said the word beer. Now, I don't know how old you are. I'm 55. This year, yeah, I'm going to be 56. Yeah, and you know what that means? 11 years of slave, 11 years to retirement. I can do that, yeah. But when I was younger, one of my favourite drinks was Top Deck. Remember Top Deck? Anyone round about my age, you'll, you'll remember that. Used to get a Top Deck shandy. I don't even know, they might even have had like slight traces of alcohol in them that were meant for kids. And you also used to get a Top Deck lager and lime. I hope you're getting that. That, as well as contrasting with my hat pretty well. It's a wild beer. Yeah, man, wild. Wild it wants to be furious. And it's a, uh, it's a sleeping limes, it's called. Fresh lime and lager. Straight in there. Again, not much. Probably cost 35 degrees. Oh, wow, punchy. Me little hand. Stop it, I'm drunk. Yeah. Punchy. Oh. Why are they going to put that much lime in it? Where's the lager? Nah. Nah. Where's the lager gone? It's the lime. I don't know what kind of lager they've used. It's just lime. And it's, it's a lime peel. It's not lime juice. It's lime peel. <laughs> oh, God. It's eventually happened. I'm filming myself drunk. It's flat. Someone's hired loads of... Someone's been having... Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Someone's been having a tequila party, yeah? Loads of margaritas, loads of tequilas. They've went through crates of limes. They've chucked them in a bin. The pub next door's got them. The pub next door's on hard times. It hasn't got these cocktail evenings. The pub, the pub with all the limes has got. It hasn't got all the hooray henrys. So it's picked them out of the bin. Didn't want to waste all these limes. It's made a couple of cakes probably. And then it tied it in with a slop suit, the dreg tray. Oh, you're not the drip tray in a pub. I would imagine that's been poured out the drip tray in a pub, yeah, and then I've just hired a couple of remnants of limes from the Hooray Henry bar next door in, chuck it a little bit, bobbed it in a flask. Making it look cool, eh? Like Game of Thrones. <laughs> House Baratheon? I don't think so. Ah, that, oh, now it's turning into toilet cleaner. Other people's limes. Drip tray. Toilet cleaner. It's not an ideal, is it, really? Little Dave reporting from the old folk home. Ciao. Night from me. I'm waiting peeps. I'll be honest, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit tiddly. I've just been trying to have a, a chocolate bar there, but a whisper used to be used to be like nice and velvety for the shut up Donna, you're drunk. I'm just trying to say that the chocolate bar is that that frozen that's now you're ripping teeth over my head. So I'm doing this again. I'll try that again, see if we can get the cool use, glow in the dark, seal an emblem on. Oh, there we go, there we go. It does that all the time. There you go. <laughs> Hold on. 
and that literally <laughs> that's mint that's the first time i've got that on camera yeah so yeah that's on the ceiling when i go to bed just let us know which way things are up i'll be honest i love it cool you hey don't get that a hilly do you get out of it <laughs> ice there so it was chilly last night I don't think it got much below zero but I check I've got me some moment of video yeah ah see always check your tent all right so about minus one your fridge is running our cool donna <laughs> Marigolds, cloth, raindrops, keep wiping off my tent. Oh, hold on. That's ice. Oh, damn it. Oops. Uh, okay. Chilly. It doesn't look like we're going to get a sunrise. That'll do me though. Some nice colours in the sky. Nice colours pitched on the dunes. In the best of spots. Donna's little go to spot. I'll get home and have a lazy one. Bye from the beach. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Again, I'd like to thank all the new subscribers that's watching. Uh, much appreciated. All your input, your lovely comments. Uh, so thanks, thanks very much. Uh, it is, it's, it's really appreciated. It's why I do it. For have a bit crack on with like-minded people uh, and entertain you. So, yeah, you're, uh, you're perfectly spoken. Uh, best bread, Jordy. Signing off. Happy 22. I'll catch up with you probably next week. I'll no doubt I'll be out. Oh God, look at the state of this. <laughs> oh, uh, happiness, peace and goodwill and uh, lots of tent time for this year. Lots of fresh air. Uh, and hopefully you might find a couple of things in the seals uh, for the up your camping game. <laughs> when I say up your camping game, I just mean like, you know, a new bag or something or new tent. You can not get one of them for a couple of months though, will you? They're sold out until July. Uh, ciao for now.